everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is another home decor video, our favourite of course. And today I am styling up the kitchen because I felt like it just needed a bit of a spruce up when I took all the Christmas decks down and just a bit of a rearrange and just add some new bits in, change some old bits out, that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be styling up my kitchen obviously in my style which is like a country modern, traditional, timeless vibe and I'm also going to be doing a little tiny bit of downstairs bathroom styling as well but mostly it'll be kitchen so yeah I'm excited these are one of my favorite types of videos to film I just love having a good faff a good rearrange a good style up around any room so I hope you guys enjoy styling up the kitchen with me Okay guys, I've just finished styling everything up. I feel like it feels so much fresher and newer in here now. I felt like it really needed a good spruce up and a good rearrange post Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed styling along with me, but I'll just quickly go through where things are from, if I can remember, and any new bits that I've got in here as well. And I will leave everything linked down below as much as I can. There probably will be some things that I miss, but I will try. So let's start over here. So as you can see, we've got our dining table. I show this all the time it's from Furniture Village and then I've just got my Alter Me Home table runner which I love I'm thinking of getting another couple of things from Alter Me Home actually I'm wanting some new cushions and I might even get a new table runner maybe like like a lighter coloured one I do really love this one I think it's the Nigella Midnight design but I'm thinking of getting a second one so I can like mix and match and then I've got my rattan tray on there from Magnolia Great Interiors got my new £1.29 Home Bargains Vase love this and I've just got a singular stem in there singular hydrangea and then just one of these gorgeous candles from the aroma tree and then moving on to the amazing shelf that my dad made me I get questions literally 
literally all the time about this shelf asking where it's from but yeah my dad did make it it's painted in ammonite by Farrow and Ball and the pegs are just from eBay so if you know like a handy worker person they could probably make it for you and I love to decorate and faff with this shelf I usually stick to like the same sort of accessories on it and just like have a reshuffle every now and again but we've got a rustic pot with a lovely faux cyclamen in there from Habitual Home and then I've just got my string tidy there from Cotswold Company. Then I've got my beautiful Gypsy Fila mini wreath from Hoops and Homes. I love that around springtime. Maybe I'm a little bit premature, but I just love it. And then in the middle, I've got a beautiful foliage fern print that I just have lying against the wall. And then in front, I've got my Neptune sugar pot. And then one of my brown bowls from Holy Barn Interiors. I've got a set of three of those and they are such a good bargain and such good styling pieces. And then over at this side, I've got my hanging basket from Duck's Nest Interiors that I have here. All the time and then I've got some Neptune accessories up there and my cute little green watering can from HomeSense. Yeah I love this little area so much I feel like it just makes this whole blank wall just look like really countrified and just less new buildy because obviously this is a new build home and things very stark and white and I just think this adds lots of lovely character. And then moving on to the sink windowsill area so this is my gorgeous new vase from Home Pieces and I am obsessed with it. I always need a really big vase for this corner with like a big display and this one is so pretty. If I just give you a little bit of a close up is it going to focus? Yeah, you can see it's got this crackled pattern all over it. It kind of reminds me of the Neptune Carinium range. Like if I got a Carinium vase down, let me get that Carinium vase down from the shelf and pop it next to the vase. Like it looks like it's from the same range as they're both crackled, they're both like a creamy colour, they're both distressed. It's honestly gorgeous and I love it. It's from Home Pieces and I do have a discount code for home pieces it's going to be florally 10 and i think you can use it site wide as well so if you wanted to get your hands on a lovely new big vase for the new year then now is your chance and then as for the display inside it's a bit of everything really i've got stems and foliage from all over the place i'll try and remember where everything's from i think these white flowers were from dunelm i think these blossom twigs were from the white company i think these ones were from sophie allport and I think these ones are from Sophie Allport as well. And then these ones I use all the time from With Love Abigail. And just all together, I feel like it looks like a nice fresh bouquet. Perfect for this time of year. I feel like it's not too spring summer because you've got like bare twigs. It looks like flowers are just starting to bloom. I don't know. I feel like it's quite fitting for this time of year. So I love how that looks. And then I've just got an Ikea Hurricane vase at the side of a Neptune Candelin. And then here I've got styled my new teak bowl that I got in one of my older vlogs from... TK Maxx, or was it HomeSense? I think it was TK Maxx. And I've just got one of these like beige napkins just placed on it with a soap that I got from HomeSense and then my amber glass bottles live here. This is a little bit of a different setup. I normally have like a stand, like a wooden stand. You'll have all seen that before probably. But I thought I'd just change it up a little bit and I quite like how it looks. I've gone quite simple for the windowsill as I don't like it looking too cluttered, especially after Christmas. So I've just gone for this mini white jug from Fawn and Fable Interiors paired with this pear from Neptune. And then in the middle, I've got another Carinium vase from Neptune. This is like the Carinium jug and this olive stem that I've got coming out of it is from Neptune as well. I just stuff some like kitchen roll down you can see to make the olive stem stand up really nicely and then I've just got another Neptune piece on the other side this Neptune glass carrier I never ever carry any glasses in there but I just really like how it looks and I like the handle and I just feel like it just warms up the windowsill a little bit moving on to this little station over here I've got lots of cute accessories so I'm going for the Neptune look with these glass jars with the flower and the oats but not the neptune price so these jars are actually from ikea just got some flour and some oats for inside and then the scoops are from amazon nice cheap wooden scoops then i've got my neptune plant pot there and then this is just a really cheap ikea plant but i feel like paired together it looks actually a bit more expensive than ikea so i like how that looks and i've got the little tea making station so i've got the kettle and then this is just for display purposes but i've got this neptune teapot that always just lives there depending on the season like when it's christmas time i might swap it out for like a christmas accessory but this is how it usually is i love how it looks i love this i think it's the only range from neptune so pretty and then here is my little faffy section i always have like little bits of accessories here so i've got 
these two chopping boards to hide the ugly switches. I've got my Neptune Ashcroft tray, salt and pepper, Neptune apple and Neptune jug over here with my utensils in. And then I really don't like this side of the kitchen. I hardly ever show it. Like, in fact, I, I never show it, but just to make it look a little bit prettier, I've got this beautiful rattan round tray. I think it's from Ellen Vale Interiors. It looks you know, quite like the Ashcroft collection. A little dupe there, and then I've just got some fresh flowers that Jake got me. And then last but not least, this is like the other side of the kitchen, so the door to get into the kitchen, and then I've got my like cupboards and like oven and stuff like that, and like fridge and freezer, boring things that I won't spend too long showing you. So here is my little peg rack, pinny rack that my dad made me. I love it, it's so cute. You will have seen it in my previous vlogs if you watch those. And I've just started up with this apron that really reminds me of the white company with like the stripes and then just like this wooden brush that just hangs there just think it looks quite simple adds a little bit of character like I said before to this white blank space there's my new bin <laughs> very unattractive but at least it's white and blends in and then on the back of the door I've got another gorgeous wreath from hoops at home this is the floral hoop in the large size and it's just stunning I've had it for years now and it's just all my favorites like white flowers white foliage and green foliage is just so pretty and yeah that's a wrap guys sorry excuse my tripod there but yeah that is the end of the kitchen tour and then lastly i thought i'd just share some little changes that i've made to the downstairs bathroom to make it less christmasy sorry that's just jake coming in from sorting the girls out sorting the bunnies out so i've just got the same like sink set up i've got the Neptune hand wash and hand cream and then just like a tea towel. My dad did mention about maybe getting like a little hook coming out of there and then just having like the towel like hung there which I think we might do or maybe at this side rather than it just being placed over the side of the counter but I don't hate it. I don't hate it so we'll see about that and then in terms of the shelves the top shelf is pretty much the same i've still got that white wreath that white dried wreath from the white company with the vervine room spray and then these amber glass bottles from mns are just like being placed there and they're kind of like spares in case they run out and then the bottom shelf is just changed up a little bit i've still got this neptune cereal bowl that i actually just bought one of this would be so good to have the full set wouldn't it but I can only dream of that. So I've just got the one as a cereal bowl in my bathroom, very random, but I really like how it looks with the soap in there, inspired by my mum on that one, of course. And then I've got this glass bud vase. It's quite white company vibes, this one. I'm sure white company do one that's literally exactly like this, but this is from a small business. I think it was from Habitual Home like a few years ago. And then I've got one of those hydrangeas that I have in the kitchen in the other bud vase. I must've had like a pack of three. No idea where they're from. I've had them for ages, but I like them because they're a very small stem so they're perfect for bud vases and I just like how that looks quite spring like and then over here I've got my Neptune candle Neptune Carinium vase and then one of those soaps that I got in the last vlog this one had the prettier packaging so I just thought I'd keep that packaged up as it's quite I don't know, country vintage vibes with the lemon you all know how I feel about lemon print on things so yeah love that and then instead of the beautiful winter like Christmassy foliage that I had in here I've just swapped it out for some beautiful white roses these are really realistic like they're kind of like a rubbery kind of paper rubber feel they feel like proper roses they look like proper roses and i've just got two of those in there nice simple look so that's the end of the video everyone i really hope you enjoyed styling up the kitchen and the downstairs living with me today let me know what you think down in the comments i always love speaking to you all in the comments and it just helps my channel out a bit if you do leave a comment down below and a like if you liked it thank you so much for watching and if you don't already i would love if you could subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos and i will see you very soon with a new video and by the way next week's video is a really good one if i do say so myself but there are some amazing bargains from a really really easy website to shop on so yeah stay tuned for next week's video and i will see you then bye